Jesus is Lord. Hey guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. Today is Saturday. I just got dressed because I'm heading out to meet. Well, first I'm going to meet Zakia, who I think I've introduced you to at some point on this channel. We're going to meet up for coffee and then I'm going to have dinner with my cousin. We're actually going to a restaurant that I've been wanting to go to for the longest time. Finally got a reservation, so I'm really, really excited. I wanted to quickly show you my outfit. Okay, so I'm wearing this white shirt. Gosh, the lighting is so bad. Let me try and put on the light. It's literally three o'clock and look at how dark it is. But anyway, um, I'm wearing this white shirt. I think it's from Mango, it's an old white shirt. This, uh, I can't talk today. This waistcoat is from Zara. I think I showed it to you guys in my last Zara haul. And then I'm also wearing these black leggings from Andanola because they're just comfortable. And these boots are technically my mom's, but they're mine now. <laughs> they're from Russell and Bromley. So this is my outfit. I feel like it's really cute. This is what my makeup looks like. Ooh. Ciao. We're never gonna talk about this. So fragrance of the day, I am wearing Santal Blush by Tom Ford. I love this. This is another um, favorite for me around this time of year. And I'm going to mix it with Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford just to sweeten it up a little bit. Um, bag wise, I'm tempted to take my Chanel tote. I would love to take my Chanel bag and I also think I should take a Kindle because Zakia There's a bit of a gap between When I meet Zakia and when I meet my cousin So I think it'll be good to just read Read for a little bit. Let me see Oh wow, my iPad actually fits. Oh wow, that's amazing. I've never tried. Okay, so this bag fits my iPad, it fits a Kindle, it fits my wallet, my um, mini pochette, it fits my camera, my tripod, it fits everything I need. So it's really handy. In here, I think I just need to make sure I have my right lip combination. Okay guys, I'm gonna head out. As usual, if I don't leave now, I'm gonna be late, so bye. <laughs> guys don't know her I mean I'm sure you do but if you don't know her I love her vlogs like she's a, a young mom she has three little boys her vibe is just so calm and relaxing I love her videos so yeah definitely check her out I love the way I'm always shouting out creators that are way bigger than me <laughs> but you know what it doesn't matter like there's even if there's like a channel with like millions of subscribers you may have never heard of them like that's how interesting YouTube is anyway as you can see I am dressed I wanted to like fill you guys in on yesterday i went to meet my cousin for dinner at gold gold is a restaurant i've wanted to go to for the longest time was finally able to get a reservation i'm literally still stuffed from dinner the food was so good you know when you're like full but the food's so good and you're like no i cannot waste this like that's literally what yesterday was like such good food such good vibes service was impeccable I'm definitely planning to go back again. Essentially, the plan for today is just to like hit up as many home stores as possible because I want to get some Christmas decor. So my plan of attack, as it were, the color of my lips is like washing out my face. But anyway, the plan of attack for today is to start at like the more budget shops. So I've got Primark on my list. I've got Denim on my list. I've got B&M on my list. And then end up in the more, I guess, well, 
Home Sense and TJ Maxx are actually not expensive shops, to be honest. So those are all the shops I'm doing today. I've already done John Lewis and all of that early in the week, like I said. So my plan is just to hit up all those shops. I want to get a couple of things from my Christmas tree. I also want to get a couple of decorations for around the house. So I'm just going to go and see what I can find. That is the plan for today. I also want to hit up H&M because I was watching Marissa, I think her last name is Bream. I was watching this haul that she put up yesterday and she was wearing this lovely like fluffy hat and she said it was from H&M. It's out of stock online, but I might get lucky and find some stock in stores. The fragrance of today, I think I'm gonna go for something not as like heavy. So I'm gonna go, ooh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Coco Mademoiselle. I got a Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. Like, I'm super into hats, as you guys know. So, do you know? But yeah, I really like hats. I think it's like a really cool way to like jazz up a boring outfit. So today, I'm literally just wearing this hat, which is from River Island. I have this jumper, which is from TJ Maxx. It's literally like a really nice like waffle fabric. If that makes sense. My leggings are from Adenola and my boots are from Russell and Bromley. I think I'm going to put on, let me put you this way so I can see. I think I'm actually going to put on my poncho because it's not giving coat weather outside. <laughs> Primark and H&M, pretty successful. We're gonna go in quickly and see what we can find in Wilco and TJ Maxx. Overall, Wilkinson's is dead. Like, I can't find anything in here. So I think, I think we're gonna go. Getting really brave, logging in public. Apparently all the Christmas stuff is actually downstairs. Oh, I can see it all. Well, today has been exhausting, but so, so productive. Um, I actually made a list of everything I wanted to get before I left the house. And I've pretty much got the majority of the stuff. And right now I'm at home base because I'm looking for a really big basket to put my tree in. Because for the past two years, I've been using a tree skirt. First of all, I don't like the color of it because it's too gray toned and my house is too gray. So I'm trying to break that up. But second of all, it really is a nuisance to store throughout the year. But I thought a basket would be so smart because then I could use it for storage throughout the year. So it's multi-purpose and obviously I would get one in a warmer tone. Home base sometimes has really good decor and sometimes they have really affordable basket. So I thought that I would come here. I hope I'm not confusing it with being cute. I have a feeling I'm confusing it with being cute. <laughs> I think it's being cute that sometimes has really affordable baskets. But anyway, we're here now. We're gonna see what we can find. I also picked up some Christmas tree lights from Denelm. No. Um, from Wilco, but now that I'm at B&Q, I see that they're actually doing 25% off lights. So if they're cheaper here, I will be getting them here and returning the ones that I bought earlier. But yeah, I am um, slowly running out of steam. After this, we have to pick up some petrol 
and after that I desperately need a coffee so that's the plan although there is a B&M close by so I might do B&M then petrol then coffee we'll see how the energy is I still don't know why I keep trying to go to B&M B&M hasn't been good to me in like two years but I still keep trying I still keep trying how much are these those are cold oh here we go 34 pounds hmm. what the hell is going on These remind me of my mom. <laughs> the last time she was here for Christmas, she wanted me to get some, and I was like, no, I don't like red. And she was like, it's festive. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Red is actually my least favorite color, fun fact. I like this mirror, actually. That is actually like the craziest centerpiece I've seen. I like these. Oh, that's like a purpley color. I thought it was brown. Okay, so maybe it was actually here. We have all these baskets, but nothing big enough to fit a tree. This is the kind of tree skirt I have, and it's so awkward trying to store it throughout the year. These are nice. Quite like these ones. So my theme is like bronze, gold. I actually really like this color. And these feel like really good quality, actually. I like these. was a bust <laughs> um, I got really excited when I saw the baskets but they were actually too small other than that um, I feel like their lights are a slightly better deal I think I paid 20 pounds for 300 lights and they had 400 lights for 24 we'll see it looks like it's about to start raining oh, no. I have been non-go since 11 and it's 3 30 now but you would have seen i was able to go to starbucks and they had pumpkin spice so i got myself a pumpkin spice latte and some banana bread like first thing i'm actually eating today other than a cereal bar it's not really what i wanted <laughs> i was hoping to get a panini but they didn't have any i'm just gonna eat this because i need some energy to build myself up for the last leg of my day. Um, I don't think I vlogged in B&M, but I was actually able to get some pretty nice Christmas decorations from there. So when I get home, you guys are gonna see, I've actually gone a bit over the top today. I already know that there's going to be so much stuff I end up returning. I'm so happy I was able to get a pumpkin spice latte. This is literally the um, first and the only pumpkin spice latte I've had from Starbucks this season. I've only literally had two proper ones. And all the ones I've tried to make at home, as you know, have been fails. So you can still get a pumpkin spice latte if you ask. If they have the spice, they'll make it for you. I don't even know if you could see anything I just did. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I don't know why I always start laughing, but the amount of stuff that I have to show you is embarrassing. Like, I don't even want to show you. Okay, these are all the bags I have full of Christmas decorations. Okay, if you look at it this way, look at it this way. It doesn't look that bad, actually. One, two, three, four, five six seven and then two basketfuls and technically actually another bag <laughs> and technically this basket is empty so if we put things into perspective is this bad 
It feels like a lot. It, it definitely feels excessive. Okay, guys, this is gonna have to do. I'm just gonna grab stuff and show you in no particular order because I can't. This is my bag from Wilco. Is it Wilco? It's my bag from Wilco, but this stuff isn't from Wilco. Yeah. I don't know if I've said, but I'm going for a mixed metal Christmas tree this year. That is a theme. I have so many silver decorations from the past, I think three Christmases I spent here. Wait, 2019, 2020, 2021. This is my fourth Christmas here, 2022. So basically I've done an all silver Christmas tree for the past three years, technically, yeah, three years. And this year I wanted to mix it up. I wanted to introduce some warmth. I realized warmth, yeah. I realized like my house is just too cool tone. So I'm trying to like warm it up a bit. So we're doing mixed metals this year. So um, these are all the baubles I got from b and I think. Again, everything's mixed up. I really liked these because they're like a nice champagne um, acorn with some silver undertone. So I thought that was fitting. I got this. Looking at this, this is, oh, my battery's about to die. Of course it's about to die. Okay, I've just put some food in the microwave. I still have not eaten today, except that banana bread and my cereal bar. So I'm gonna have my first proper meal. Very bad, but um, today's just been a mess. <laughs> I literally thought all my shopping would take a couple hours. Anyway, um, another set of Christmas balls that I got from B&M. B&M had some really nice ones, surprisingly. Um, these are some Christmas lights that I got from Wilkinson's. So it was 300 for 20 pounds. Oh, this is a green cable. I wanted to get a clear cable. That is so annoying. This blanket I got for the couch. I thought that it would be nice to add like some color. Oh, you guys can probably hear the microwave, sorry. So yeah, this is from Wilkinson and I think this was 1650. From Wilkinson's, I also got this small little um, bottle. I mentioned to you guys in one of my old vlogs that I needed a smaller one for like my ginger tonics. I also ended up getting some fairy because it was two for four pounds for the big bottles. Everything else in this bag is from Wilkinson's. They have these nice um, bronze baubles. They're doing three for two at Wilkinson's. So I got three of these really nice bronzy ones. And then I got five of these stars. So these are really, they've got like a nice mirror effect. I got five of those. And then I got some gold spray paint because I have so many, so, so many silver ornaments from the past few years that I thought maybe I would spray paint some of them. These were from TK Maxx. I also got this little angel. It's also silver and gold. This one was like a lone one from TK Maxx. They only had one and I really, really liked it. So I just got it anyway. It was $6.99. Why did I think this was three pounds? Okay. Oh, let me tell you prices. This was a pack for five pounds. This pack I think was four pounds. This pack was $6.99. The ones from Wilkinson's, I think these ones were three pounds and then they were two for three for two. And then I think the stars were also three pounds and then they were three for two. This is Zaflora Antiseptic. The only reason why I got this was because it is Christmas fragranced. Um, I've been wanting to get diffusers for the living room and the main bedroom for the longest time, but I have never seen any that I liked. These piqued my interest because they're like a faux concrete. I don't know why, but my camera looks really, it's not really showing the true texture of these. Okay, I've actually turned my ISO down a bit, so hopefully you can see the decorations because everything is just really washed out. Dinner is actually ready, but I'm so excited to show you guys. I'm just gonna show you. Whew, hot. But yeah, now you can see the true color of the baubles a bit better. Also from TJ Maxx, I went to two different ones, mind you. I got this nice reindeer. It has a really nice two-tone thing going on, $6.99. That like string bean is like stuck in my throat. And then I got these. These candy canes are also silver and um, gold. I got this winter frost 
Oil by Tisseran. That was also from TJ Maxx and that was $3.99. I need to tell you guys prices, sorry. These were $4.99 each and they're four candy canes. I just thought they were so pretty. From Primark, I actually got some clothes. They had these boots and I thought they were really, really nice. Guess how much these boots were? 22 pounds. So I got them in the white color and I also got them in the black. And they're quite comfortable. I only tried on one, to be fair, like one shoe. <laughs> but yeah, I was really um, impressed by these. Like, I feel like they look like and feel like they're way more expensive than they were. In Primark, I got all of these like cushion covers. Because obviously I'm trying to interject some more warmth and I thought maybe this could work. Green is going to be my accent color. Green, and I think I got some like mustardy stuff. That's going to be my accent color. So I got two of these. We're going to see how that looks. I'm going to swap out some of these cushions. So I got those. And then I also got this white one, which now that it's here, I don't like so much. So I think this will be the first thing that goes back. And I only got one. <laughs> and then they also had these other green ones that I felt that I would try in case the gold is too jarring for me. I'm going to go with these. All this stuff is from Primark, by the way. So the cushion covers were, um, I think these ones were four pounds each. And then I ended up getting these on sale for three pounds. I also got this tree. Wood obviously is a favorite accent of mine. And I couldn't really leave this behind when I saw it. I thought it was really interesting. And this was six pounds from Primark. So all the little knickknacks. I'm gonna put that in a separate section to all my Christmas tree stuff. Oh no! So I got this little garland. This was from Primark and this was nine pounds. And then what it's ended up doing is getting glitter all over the candles that I bought. So these were all meant to be plain white, but as you can see now they have some sparkle on them, which actually I'm not too mad at. So I got um, two of the shorter ones and then I got two of the tall ones the tall ones were three pounds the shorter ones were two pound fifty and then I also picked up this shape because I thought this was interesting and these were two pound fifty okay this was from TJ Maxx these are just some pine cones for six for ten pounds from TJ Maxx these are the cushions that I was telling you about that are like a mustardy orangey color I thought that would add some nice warmth as well. Almost like a gold, actually. The more I look at it, I don't think I like these. I think I need more of like a sagey green. And these cushions were 10 pounds, I think, from Primark. Eight pounds from Primark, including the cushion. These were from B&M and these were three pounds. Again, just like a lot of mixed metals. There's some rose gold in there, there's some gold. There's some light gold, some champagne gold in there. Really nice colors. I ended up getting some barbecue sauce for the house because we were out. Um, this pack of ribbons. And then I got these. So really what I want to do with the tree this year is just like, I want to have so many ornaments. So we're going to see how everything comes together. So from H&M I got clothes. So I got this little two piece. I think I actually showed this to you in a vlog. I saw this in the window and I thought, oh my God, that is so nice. So I got the skirt and I got the matching top. I got both in a medium. I only tried on the skirt and the skirt fit. So I just ended up getting a top in the medium as well. And yeah, I just think this is going to be such a nice outfit for like, you know, the holiday season. More Christmas tree decor. These are butterflies, aren't they pretty? Honestly, like when I saw these, I picked them up and I put them down and I picked them up again. And that for me was a sign that I liked them. So um, they're really, really big and they're four for $9.99. They're a little glitzy, but I think they're very pretty. And I also want to kind of add some visual interest. So not just, you know, round things. These were $12.99 and these were from TJ Maxx. Um, Looking at everything, I don't know that these were good of value. But yeah, I think these are gonna go back. I really like these though. These are clear, but they have like a gold stripe across them. 
So yeah, these were $7.99 for the 12, so much better value. And then I got this star for the top of the tree. I thought that was like perfect because obviously it has the mixed metal. I ended up getting these mugs because first of all, they're cute. They're like Christmas, right? But they're literally like not like cheesy Santa Christmas, which is quite hard to find. So when I saw these, I thought they were really like nice and tastefully done. Oh, those mugs were five pounds each. Got this huge basket from TJ Maxx for $24.99. And then I also got this one. I didn't know like how big of a basket I would need. I also got this one. And this one was on sale. So I'm going to try both and then I'll see which one I like the look of better. And I think this one was 16 pounds. It was on sale. Uh, yeah, 16. And then I got this garland from TJ Maxx. It's like the most affordable one I could find and also looks super realistic and it was only 12.99 from HomeSense slash TJ Maxx. That's everything I got, guys. This is what the color scheme is looking like for now. Oh, it's so pretty and shimmery. The baskets that I got were too small. Can you imagine? Um, both of them wouldn't fit. So this is the base for my tree. It won't fit. And neither will this. So... I probably should have taken this with me. That would have been the more smart thing to do, but I didn't do that, or the smarter thing to do, rather. So these two are going to have to go back, and I'm going to take that with me so that I can get one that will fit. I decided to test out my diffuser, though, so it looks like that. But I do love the way it looks when it's off, because it literally just, like, blends in with all my decor. The main reason why I've never had any of these is because I've never really liked the way they look. So I like the fact that this looks like decor when it's off. So I think I might actually keep both. Yeah, I'm gonna shower and do some editing. That's what I'm going to do. All right, I'll check in with you guys later. <laughs> it is about three o'clock now. I'm just about to make lunch. <sighs> Where do I start from? Okay, so last time I saw you, I said I was gonna start editing my um, Christmas wish list video. I was at gift guide video, sorry. I was editing it and then I fell asleep. I somehow managed to knock my laptop on the floor in between when I fell asleep and woke up and I edit on an SSD card. I basically damaged my SSD card, cut a long story short, my SSD drive to cut a long story short. First of all, those things are stupid expensive, number one. Number two, the video that I was editing on it, like it's the hard drive is just not mounting properly. I wasn't sure if I needed to start again. I tested it, like I, I exported what I had and it seemed to work. So I decided to just finish off my video and then reformat the drive and see if that'll fix it. Tell me why, I literally woke up so early this morning, finished off the video and you guys like know, those sorts of videos, if you don't know, take a really long time because you have to source all the photos, put in all the prices. It's not just like normal like editing a video. So tell me why I finished the video, but it just wouldn't export and I've had it like exporting for a couple hours now and it's just not exporting. So honestly, the way I feel, if it doesn't work, I'm just going to have to miss an upload tomorrow because I can't, I cannot re-edit that video without like it literally affecting me at this point. <laughs> anyway, um, on my uh, lunch break, I managed to go to TJ Maxx to return those baskets from yesterday. And um, I also went to home base. Is it home base? I always mix them up. I also went to home base to pick up the lights from yesterday because I needed to also get a tree skirt. I decided to go for a foldable one instead because I wasn't able to find any baskets that um, are big enough. I took the, the bottom of the tree and I still couldn't find one that was big enough in TJ Maxx. So I just went for one of these. It's not really what I wanted but it'll work. I like the fact that it like stores like this. It's still a bit of an awkward shape to store, to be very honest, but it takes up way less. Let me show you my, my skirt from last year. <laughs> you know how impossible it is to store something like this 
It takes up so much space. It's the biggest nuisance. And considering it's only used for a month out of the year, I just need to not have this in my house. I'm just about to make myself some salmon, sweet potatoes, and then the leftover string beans that I had yesterday. So it's really nothing exciting. But I think once I get past tomorrow, I think um, I'll be able to sit down and like think about what I actually want my three meals to be. I think I'm still going to maintain sweet potato fries and some sort of protein as my lunch because it's just quick, it's easy. And honestly, I really like sweet potato fries. <laughs> so busy but i've been thinking about what i want to do with you i know the matter of guys they've been talking about the way i do what i do they heard i was good they wanna see if it's true they know you're the one i wanna give it to i can see you on me too that was me and you Also, in today's um, list of things that I didn't really need from Amazon, but I bought it anyway, <laughs> I got these amber glass bottles. And why these are special are because they come with this kind of pump. So I've seen amber glass bottles everywhere, but I really wanted one that came with like one of these kind of pumps, not like the plastic standard pumps that you see everywhere. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to decant my um, dishwashing soap and my hand soap. And then I'm going to put them on that pedestal that I've showed you guys. So let me show you the before and then we'll do the after. This is really nice, by the way. I've been using it since I bought it yesterday. It smells like Christmas. It's so nice. Anyway, this is um, what my before looks like. So you guys know I got both of these from... Um, Aldi and they're basically like the Aesop dupes. I actually quite like the bottles that those come in but I don't like the bottle that my dishwashing soap comes in so I'm trying to make the kitchen as aesthetic as possible is essentially my aim in life. <laughs> so this hand wash is actually really good as you can see I've been using this a lot but the hand lotion is not the best I'm not going to lie. I don't think it's really moisturizing. I'm thinking about mixing this with oil. The Aesop hand lotion on the other hand is incredible, but it's also like 70 pounds. <laughs> so you get what you pay for in life. Oh, and I should also mention that the kit came with these labels. So really, really cute. And it didn't come with the hand lotion label, annoyingly. But I'll link this down below, of course, if you're interested. I always link everything that I feature in my description box across all my videos. I watch a lot of content creators that say, I'll link it below, I'll link it below, and they never do. I really take pride in my description box, so have a look. So these are the labels that it comes with. They're actually not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. They're not bad, because they have like an apothecary vibe to them, but it's not actually going to show up properly, but they have these weird lines on them. I think we'll use them for now. It's definitely giving like house on the prairie vibes. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is my lunch. I'm pretty much going to eat this for the next few days and then I'm going to swap out the greens. So depending on what I have today, I have some sugar snap peas. Um, I think I'll probably have some broccoli tomorrow. I'll, I'll swap out the greens every day. And let's see. The serving is 15 grams and that's 45 calories which actually seems like a lot but we're going to see how much that actually looks like 15 grams okay so if you look at that guys not a lot. 
And I think this is another place where it's really easy to rack up calories because like I would definitely have at least, at least four times that, to be honest. Because you know, you pour a little bit, you finish it, you pour a little bit more, you finish it, you pour a little bit more, and before you know it, that's 200 calories in just mayo. So I think I'm gonna have to look for a lower calorie alternative. Speaking of calories and all that stuff, I didn't tell you guys that today, Monday, was my weigh-in day. I've down, actually let me get the exact amount. I know. So I lost 1.1 kilos this week, which makes a total of 2.55 lost. 2.55 lost. Very, very exciting. You know, my goal is to lose one kilo a week. I'm trying to do this in a very sustainable way. And it's really exciting to know that I'm still losing weight, even though I'm still like living my life. So obviously you guys would have seen that I went out to dinner with my cousin. I had some drinks, I had a good time, and I was still able to reach my goal, which is really, really good. So um, I'm going to eat my lunch right now, finish off some work. A really exciting delivery just came from Amazon and I'm still trying to export my video. So I really hope that when I come back on, I have good news for you guys about my video because it's definitely making me a little bit anxious today. I feel like I can finally breathe. My video has finally exported. <laughs> Oh, it's really important to just like take time I think sometimes and remove yourself from the situation so that's what I did I didn't look at it I was just focusing on work for a while and then I picked up my computer and I looked at the error message because there was actually an error message on why it wasn't exporting come to find out that there was not enough space on my computer which doesn't make sense because I'm like why is there no space on my computer yesterday I deleted everything on my um, hard drive before I even started editing, but I didn't mount my Final Cut Pro library on my hard drive. I mounted it on my laptop. So that was why when I kept plugging it in, it wasn't reading that this file was on my hard drive because it wasn't on my hard drive. It was actually on my laptop. And that was why my laptop was running out of space and that was why it wasn't exporting. So now that the video is done, <laughs> I had to basically bring another hard drive to export onto it. But anyway, as you can see, my work day is over. I have literally showered, put on my pajamas because I just needed a break. Like, I don't think you understand. Like, I was getting really stressed about this video and it was putting me in such a weird mood. And, like, I was literally like, oh, I wish I could have a glass of wine. <laughs> like, it's not that serious. Like, I really needed to, like, just calm myself down. I feel a lot better now. I'm actually going to start decorating because I think that will also help me to like clear my mind once I can get rid of all of this junk like this spread across my living room like I can't live like this so um yeah I think I'm going to pop you guys somewhere and maybe you guys can watch a little bit but if you want to see like the actual detail of everything that I do then um, definitely check out my decorating video because that will most likely, that will definitely be up before this vlog. so i'm gonna stop the behind the scenes here if you want to see all the decorating Check out this video. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're all having a great day, whatever day you're watching this video. I actually woke up really late for me. I woke up at like 7, past 7, which is really late for me if you guys are new to this channel. But um, yeah, I was up really late. The decorating thing <laughs> literally my whole body is so sore <laughs> but i'm so excited to show you guys what everything looks like um let's start off with the small things 
So I redid some of my shelves. I don't know if you can notice anything different. I basically just added this star. Isn't that pretty? I got this star from, let me put on the light. I feel like it's a little bit dark. Mm, I'm sorry guys, it's just dark in this country. But yeah, I got this star. I thought it was so pretty. I think it was either six or seven pounds from Primark and it's got a tea light thing in the back, but I don't think I'll be lighting it. But I just think it actually looks like it's worth a lot more than six pounds. So some of my shelves were really cluttered before. I've tried to simplify them. I'm still not 100% happy. I think I might actually get rid of all these magazines. I'm still trying to play around with things. So I think I have books on too many shelves. Yeah, I think I might actually try that. Let's see what that looks like. I don't know, I feel like it needs something, but there are too many books. <laughs> If that makes sense because I have books on the top shelf book on books on the middle shelf I need to kind of alternate it a bit on this side I've added this little guy isn't he cute that was from TJ Maxx and I think it was either $7.99 or $8.99 I think I would have showed you guys all this but I'm actually thinking I might have deleted the whole bit because it was a bit too long these are all my husband's golf trophies and the project I want to do is actually put a shelf in um the spare room because that's where he works from predominantly because they don't fit the aesthetic of this area so uh, maybe we'll go to ikea this weekend or next weekend actually so yeah i also really need to change this situation i'm hoping the um what's it called sideboard that i've been looking at goes on sale during black friday because that's probably the one thing I really want to change in this living room but anyway moving on over to the second addition to the living room Ta-da! I did this last night this wreath is so nice because it's got a little bit of frosting but it's not over the top it's got these little gold bells the brown from the acorns it was on clearance, so it was only £10. And then all the pillar candles are from Primark. That's like how simple everything is. Another thing I really want to change in this living room is our dining table and the chairs. Again, hoping some things I've had my eye on go on sale during Black Friday. And now, the piece de resistance. I never know how to pronounce that word. But look at my Christmas tree. It came out so, so nice. I'm so excited. It's got a little bit of silver, a little bit of gold, some copper, some rose gold. So we're gonna make myself a really quick breakfast. I still have some unboxing of my new pots and pans to show you guys, but we're gonna do that later. This week I'm keeping up with my eggs and smoked salmon. Honestly, if you're trying to have like a high protein breakfast, I feel like eggs is just really easy and luckily for me I actually really like eggs so I'm having three eggs and 50 grams of smoked salmon and then I'm having it on a bagel thin instead of the oatmeal I had this yesterday and it was really really nice so these are the bagel thins that I I got so one bagel is 130 calories I just toast it really lightly in the oven and yeah it all works out I'm also going to have a piece of fruit with it Yesterday I had a small apple. I think I might have a cup of grapes today and some black coffee. So I will show you guys. I'm just going to clean up my counter really quickly. Okay, so the first two things it came with were these like spoons. They have these weird um, like colorful markings. It looks like sprinkles on them. This is going straight to the charity shop. Okay guys, so this is everything that I got. This is a little wok with a lid. 
So really, really amazing. I don't have anything like this in my cooking collection. This is a bigger frying pan, a smaller frying pan, and then it came with um, this little pot, which again, I don't think I have anything quite this size, and then a saucepan. So honestly, all the like stuff I recently just got from TK Maxx, I probably didn't even need that <laughs> because this is very similar. But anyway, this is the first pan that I got. And as you can see, it got a little bit discolored from the one time I cooked potatoes in here. So that was really annoying. Don't mind the oven being open, by the way. I like to leave the um, oven open to heat up the house when it's cold. Um, that marks the end of things for the kitchen for now. I want to move on to some other parts of the house now. I need some new bedding, I need new towels. I really want to get some curtains, like we still don't have curtains in the house. I still um, need to do that shelf I was telling you about in the spare room. I want to do some painting, some like proper decorating and finishing and artwork. Like I have a lot of stuff that I need to do to like get this house like fully, fully done. I still have some pieces of furniture I want to buy. So yeah, hold me to it. I don't need to come on here anytime soon and tell you I've got a new pot or I've got a new like soap container. Okay, let me end this bit here. I'll pick you guys up. I think tomorrow, hopefully if it's not raining, I'll take all this stuff to the charity shop and do the post office tomorrow. Trigger warning, TMI warning. After I made my salmon the other day, I ended up having violent diarrhea. <laughs> I say violent, like it was only for a couple hours, but it was painful. <laughs> like, you know when like your stomach just starts to cramp out of nowhere? Like it was bad, but luckily it didn't last too long. I feel like my body just like rejected that fish very quickly, which makes me think maybe my metabolism is... <laughs> It's getting faster. Why am I always trying to guess what my metabolism is doing? <laughs> anyway, good morning, guys. Oh, I forgot to sleep in my braids yesterday. I just realized that now. Um, yeah, so I've been up since like five. All I've done yesterday, guys, yesterday, hmm, all the Black Friday shopping that has gotten done since the last time I saw you, I'm actually scared to check my bank balance. I went OD. I'm not even gonna lie, but um, I got some really good things and I still have a couple things that I really want. And I don't know if I should just literally close my eyes and go in like a spending ban <laughs> or if I should like, you know, just let it go and tell myself that There'll be more deals in the future. I'm still in that like mind frame. There are two things on my mind, actually three things on my mind. But let me tell you what I got first. Okay. So the first thing I ended up buying was a new media unit. I've been wanting this particular one that I bought for age. It's actually the one I really, really wanted. If I can still find a picture, I'll put it up because I know I sent this to my friend. The one I really, really wanted was from Made. So this one was about a thousand pounds. I went on the Made website and I saw that they had closed down. Like, did you guys know that? Made.com has closed down. So my second choice was this one from Swoon. I really liked it. And luckily that was also included on the in the Black Friday sale. So I ended up buying that. I think it was discounted from about 600 pounds to 400 pounds. I ended up buying that on the website. It said that it would be coming in one to two weeks. Tell me why it's coming today literally less than two days because i ordered it tuesday night and literally it's coming today at lunchtime so amazing i'm really excited to see i hope it goes well with my vision another thing i need to order actually is some paints because i want to i think i told you guys earlier in the week but i want to paint that whole wall against my dining table i might leave a bit i haven't decided exactly but i definitely want to do something like quite like dramatic on that wall so yesterday morning when i should have been editing i literally went on net porte and i was just scrolling 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 guys tell me why they had the jimmy choo maylies in black suede in my size the last pair 30 percent off 
that is the kind of shoe that I would actually get in multiple colors. Like it's just, I don't have any suede shoes. It'll be my first pair of Jimmy Choo's well, other than my wedding shoes that no one has actually still bought yet. The, I've told you guys I've wanted the Dear Francis Spirit Boots for the longest time. I've talked about this literally since the beginning of the year. They're also doing a 25% off. So instead of five, so instead of 540, they were 405. And it's so weird, I just couldn't bring myself to buy them. I don't know why, like there was something about the fact that they were more expensive than my Jimmy Choo's that it's, it just didn't sit well with me. So anyway, I ended up finding another um, brand called AD or Ada. I had never ordered anything from them before, but they were also on Net-a-Porte. These boots look identical to the Dear Francis Spirit boots and they were literally 240 pounds. I decided to swing that way. I hope I don't regret it. Another reason why I didn't get the Dear Francis ones was because um, they were on back order until the end of January. Like these prices are giving me anxiety. I don't normally just go out and shop like this. Oh, I did a big order on Pretty Lavish. I've actually decided that Pretty Lavish is my favorite high street store. Like that is a big, obviously like besides the Zara and the H&M and the ASOS, I think Pretty Lavish and another good one is Club L. They have really good quality clothes at a good price point. Skims, I had Skims on my list of brands to check out for the longest time for the during the Black Friday sale. Their Black Friday sale was trash. Like nothing that you would really want was actually in the sale and they didn't have any sizes. And yeah, it was really disappointing. And that's it really. There are a couple other things I got from H&M. I found the hat, that white hat that I wanted to actually buy came in stock online, so I got that. And then um, they have these really nice tops that are meant to be really good dupes for the Kate Maddie top. So I got one of those. I'm actually thinking I might film a completely separate video where I like, try on everything so if you guys want to know how any of this stuff works out let me tell you about the biggest like fail i had so on luisa veroma luisa veroma um they had a maximara coat a madame coat i'm gonna link, i'm gonna put a picture it was an oatmeal they had it in my size and for whatever reason i think there was a glitch in the system their 40 percent off discount code was working on this coat so instead of 2,000 and, you know, 400 pounds, it was literally 1,200 and something pounds. I was in shock. But again, it's just not in my nature to just like wake up and buy something for 1,200 pounds because I hadn't like prepared to do that. And again, it wasn't the exact color. Like I really want that coat in the camel color. And the oatmeal color, I think it might be seasonal because it wasn't even on their website. So I couldn't decide if it was like, like a light color like their beige color because I know I've seen that color in real life and I didn't like it or if it was slightly warmer because I am looking for like a more neutral beige coat because my Max Mara coat is very warm so I was like okay if I buy this that'll be literally like my birthday present like so that's how I was trying to think about it but in the back of my mind I'm like is this going to be the right color in hindsight I wish I had just bought it Honestly, I wish I had just bought it because it, when it came, I could like decide, you know what I mean? I, was, I went for a walk, came back, and by the time I could like buy it, the discount code was no longer applying to that. It's just annoying when like your wishlist items are heavily discounted and you lose out on them. But anyway, speaking of codes, this morning I got served an ad from Joseph. And why I really like it is because it's like a military coat and I don't have anything like that. And I also really like the color. I'm trying to show you more pictures and it's not working. I can't tell what the color is. That's the only issue. I hate it when brands call things like things that are not, um, what's the word, like universally known. It's called ganache and ganache is typically like a, a chocolatey brown, right? So I think that might be the color. And this coat is cashmere wool, 75% wood, wool, 20% polyamide, and 5% cashmere. And it's discounted from 695 to 347 so 50% off. Like, is it Porte or is it Porter? These are questions that need answering. 
Anyway, everything is ending on Friday. So <laughs> all of this. Oh no, they've sold out of so many things already. Okay, I'm getting the coat. Oh my god, this is so financially irresponsible. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. <laughs> hey guys it's almost 12 and i've just realized that i have to like clear out the living room so happy. the main reason why i've been really wanting to get rid of this in case i haven't told you before is this is a really industrial style type of furniture it's from ikea really affordable and i realized very quickly that i hate that you can see through it so um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the new one fits in this space. Is it me or is my face looking slimmer, guys? It might all be in my head, but I feel like my face is getting slimmer, especially considering all my hair's pulled back. But um, yeah, I didn't update you guys on the situation with the media unit yesterday because honestly, it ended up being a really dramatic day. Let me show it to you and then we can, I'll fill you in. This is it. It is stunning. Like, I love it so, so much, but unfortunately, it is too short. I don't know if you guys can see, but if you look above there, you can see all the sockets, and it's just really visually not nice. It's also not got shelves. Now, this is definitely my fault because I don't... Everything is my fault. First of all, I didn't take proper measurements to confirm. But also, um, because there are no shelves, I feel like it would be a bit awkward to store everything that we need to store in here. So it's stunning. It's so heavy. It's such a good piece of furniture. Yeah, so I've decided to order the sideboard version, which is taller. I was on the phone with Swoon yesterday and basically it's annoying because they don't do like direct exchanges so I have to return this one. I paid for this to be delivered, I have to pay for them to pick it up and then I obviously have to pay for the replacement to be delivered. So I'm just trying to talk to them like is there no way we can just do a direct swap so I'm not having to pay like two, uh, like one extra delivery charge. Like I would appreciate that because I do appreciate it's my fault but it would be nice to not have to lose out because I've paid 30 pounds for the delivery. I think I have to pay another 30 to send it back and then 50 to send the other one to me because it's bigger. I'm like, if I'm gonna spend like 110 pounds in just delivery fees, I haven't really saved anything. I mean, granted, I've only lost the 60, like shipping that and back, but it just doesn't really feel like much of a saving at that point. Honestly, my whole attitude towards furniture now has changed drastically, like, I don't want to order anything. I mean, I'll still order pieces from Ikea and like Wayfair, don't get me wrong, but there are certain pieces that I want to invest in. And my thought process is that these pieces will follow me from like home to home. So I really don't want to just like buy something to make do if I know like I'm not 100% happy with it. So anyway, I just did my last bit of Black Friday shopping <laughs> and I just looked at my credit card balance and jesus is lord that's all i'm going to say i got very very good things it's just a matter of what it looks like when it comes all right guys i'll check in with you later <laughs> good morning people oh no my battery's about to die so today's saturday as you can see i still have the box for swoon um yesterday whew, 
<laughs> Yesterday I was able to arrange for the return. It was pretty straightforward. Um, I think, I don't know how much I've told you guys, but I basically want to replace the current unit I have with a taller unit. I'm also looking into some other units. I need to make a decision. Really cool, let me go get my robe one second. That's better. So yeah, I woke up hours ago. I've just been doing like, <laughs> I keep saying my last bit of shopping, but um, I bought Eben's Christmas gift. I've also done some research into our um, anniversary gift. Oh, where are my spare batteries? Random skin update for you guys, because I'm actually going to get my facial today. So um, that's what I was trying to tell you about before all my batteries kept dying. Let me actually charge these because I need to have a spare with me today. We are basically going to go into central London, like ignore all the chaos around me. I will tidy up at some point. Um, we're gonna go into central London. No, first we're gonna go to my esthetician to get my facial done. I think I mentioned to you in my last skin update that we're doing something different today. So I've had three peels so far, and today we are going to do a different kind of facial to target my milia. So I haven't actually asked her yet if it's okay to vlog. So, um, Oh, I need to leave early, I forgot. I saw that she posted on her Instagram. Gosh, I cannot wait to get rid of this box. She posted on her Instagram that it was her birthday during the week and she hasn't been having like a really good week. So I really wanted to get her something and I really forgot about that. So what to do today? Um, pick up cupcakes. And I also want to look at the Celine Sosengo. Come back home. I need to film my chit chat get ready with me so i'm going to do a holiday edition chit chat get ready with me and there was another video i wanted to film today i need to check my calendar i'm gonna come back home get some filming done tidy up a little bit and then i have a beyonce candlelight concert so i, I found this experience on fever and it's basically like a string quartet or some form of orchestra and they're basically just going to be performing Beyonce songs. So I'm going with Miriam. We're both Beyonce fans. And I thought that it would just be something really different to do. So um, you can see my diffuser. I'm still loving it. This winter frost fragrance is amazing. Oh yes, it's nice and juicy. Sometimes you get dry oranges. I'm not great at making my food look like really presentable. Like there are people that are so good at that, but I don't know how to do food styling and all of that so yeah this picture i'm taking now should make it to the thumbnail all right i need to go guys i need to leave this house in 25 minutes and i haven't showered and i haven't eaten okay bye quickly show you guys what i'm wearing i'm wearing this black turtleneck and my i don't know the black leggings it's pretty much my uniform at this point i literally just washed this jumper and these leggings and put them right back on. I'm gonna wear a hat because I just checked the weather and apparently it is going to be, um, there might be rain today. I don't know if I officially have mentioned it in this vlog, but I actually ended up picking up that belt, the same belt from Ted Baker. It went on sale again. <laughs> so I ended up picking it up in the large size as well because I wanted to be able to wear it on top of my coats. I'm gonna go in with a Trappe Revs today my fragrance of choice this is by louis vuitton and i just love this look i think i look really chic Lies outfit this is my bag from asos and this is why i need the celine because i often need a bag that i can take my laptop in and as much as i don't mind this bag it's obviously not the same vibe oh i love this outfit who do i think i am hey um i just left my jewelers i got my rings back i'm whispering because i don't want to have to vlog outside so i'm just vlogging in the stairwell but yeah basically my um my facial got cancelled literally i picked up the cupcakes we started going and then when i got to the train station literally got the bus to the train station i checked my instagram and i saw that she had messaged me that um, there was a cancellation. She has to cancel because something happened to her studio. Oh, I'll stay over here. So yeah, I decided to 
Um, I had already bought the cupcakes and everything, but it was fine because I gave them to some of the people that work in the tube station and they were really happy. <laughs> so I just, uh, luckily I was able to move my ring appointment. So I came to pick up my rings, like I just said. And now I'm on New Bond Street and I made a nail appointment because I was meant to do that on Sunday, but I was able to bring it to today. It's not for another hour and a half. So I want to see if I have enough time to potentially pop into Celine. Because I have my laptop, I would love to see how the bag fits with my laptop. Let me just double check that I have enough time because I don't want to be late for my nail. I have a feeling I should be okay, but I'm going to check when I go outside. So if I make it into the Celine store, you guys will see. It's actually really nice out here. It's kind of quiet. I think it's only 11.30. So we're going to go and see. This is me being really brave, vlogging on New Bond Street. But we're going to see how it goes. So I just got back home. I have to fill you in on all the madness that has been happening since I last saw you. So I think I picked up, I think I left you guys at New Bond Street. I actually ended up going into Celine and I had a really negative customer service experience. But anyway, um, after that, I went to get my nails done. I went for this color. It's a really pretty, um, like, I guess a berry color. It was called winter wine, winter wine. I really like it. It's not really showing the true color. It's a lot darker in real life. After I got my nails done, like the vexation from Celine had actually left, to be honest. Actually, I wasn't holding onto it for that long. After I talked to my friend about it, I was like, whatever. Like the thing about me is I am, um, like a very chill person i'm not like super confrontational my friend was like oh you know you should have cussed him out or whatever <sighs> anyway that's and that's why i wasn't really vlogging for the past few hours because i've actually been a bit upset so now i'm back at home i haven't eaten since breakfast i did have a coffee second rent chai lattes how did i not know that chai lattes didn't have coffee in them <laughs> i got a chai latte today it was so sweet, I literally could not drink it. I had to throw it away. And you guys know how much coffee is outside? Almost four pounds I wasted. And then I ended up just getting a regular oat milk latte. Like, I don't know why I tried to experiment. So from the shops, I just got some vitamin C from Boots. These are the effervescent tablets with zinc. Haven't had any for a while, so I've just stocked up. And then, I don't think I've talked to you guys about the egg shortage. So I think in last week's vlog, I told you guys how I went to Aldi twice and they didn't have eggs. I just thought it was an Aldi thing because then I went to Waitrose and they had eggs. Then yesterday when I was at Little, I noticed that they had a sign where they were rationing eggs so you could only buy two at a time. So I'm like, what's happening? So I finally, finally decided to look it up and it turns out that it's like a national thing. I'll link the article down below if you want to know why, but essentially because of the rising costs of living, apparently there, there's been some sort of bird flu or something. All the farmers have been impacted and they're not able to keep up with the national supply of eggs. Cut a long story short. I was able to go to Tesco, they had eggs, but they were limiting them to three per, per, per person. So I was only able to get three, which honestly prior to this, my new like eating, plan that would have been perfectly fine but now i'm eating three eggs a day like i get through eggs really really quickly so it's been quite difficult anyway guys i'm going to end this bit here and because i really need to start filming i have three videos i want to film today my november favorites um a chit chat get ready with me and i want to film the try on portion of my pretty lavish like order that will go into my black friday haul that i was telling you guys about earlier so i have a lot of work to do and i have about four hours from when i need to leave the house so i'm no i have about three hours that's actually not enough time hi <laughs> oh i just finished filming i filmed the chit chat get ready with me and i filmed my monthly favorites i just don't mess my same outfit back on but i've put on some extra layers because when i was coming back i was actually quite cold I'm also tempted to take a scarf because this coat, obviously this whole area is exposed. I'm wearing my Chanel bag. I'm not going to take my tripod. I'm just going to take the camera and I'm not going to bother taking my whole wallet. I'm just going to take a card and a license. So I'll see you guys. <laughs> 
We go round in circles, round in circles, searching for love. We go up and down, lost and found, searching for love. You guys remember Miriam from Barcelona? Looking for something that lives inside. 